Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. I believe we are on the 21st episode of Can Terraria Bosses Survive? Getting to that magical number 25 and 30. I don't remember which one I said I was going to change it up at. But when we get there, we'll change it up. We'll test it out on some new bosses. But yeah, today's weapon of choice is the Psychedelic Prism from the Psychedelic Prism mod. Who would have thought? Fires a universe shattering beam of pure psychic energy. You ready for this? This thing is pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Peep this. Ready? Boom. Look at that. What a great animation. It keeps going though. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh my god. It's killing the mannequins. This is some power we haven't seen before. Maybe we haven't. I haven't been paying attention. But as you can see, it gets pretty deadly. It leaves a lot of debuffs on the enemies it hits too. So I'm ready to put this thing to the test. You know, we're out here in space. Decided to change up the terrain for once. Uh, because as much as I love this world and how much, you know, how many videos we've done in this world and it has a lot of history on it, you know, it might be time to finally change to a new creative world that or it's finally time to move to the lab that chaos has made to, for me permanently. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But yeah, let us come down to earth here and let us begin fighting bosses starting with the King Slime and the Queen Bee. Why not? Let's hit him with the beams. The first two bosses always lag in the game when I kill them. Let's do it again just so you see it not as laggy, okay? I think I'm kind of noticing something here. There was like bullets coming off of my body. Do you see that? Do you see that? Like, what are, what are those like bullets shooting out of me? I don't know. Does this use like ammo? Here, let me, let me throw away like all that stuff. Because I don't know. If, no, look, it is just like straight up shooting bullets out of it. It's a... Uh, interesting i always forget that daytime skeletron is a lot stronger than nighttime uh, because he's supposed to insta kill you and he gets a lot of defense but he's still killable it just kind of takes a while sometimes we let it get to the black beams though and that's when the real power comes in the real penetrative power is that a word penetrative yeah if we make it nighttime he probably gets insta killed i guess might as well do that real quick boom nighttime bam he's dead i'm noticing a little little frame droppage every time i kill something with this weapon and it's not like the first boss I spawn in like usual. It's, it's every boss I'm noticing a little frame droppage when I kill it. Maybe it's just my PC. Maybe I, a 3080 isn't enough for Terraria and I need a 3090 or a Radeon, was it, 6900? I don't know. If anyone has the hookups for those, you know, let me know. I would love to get my hands on one. But yeah, we got the Brain of Cthulhu here. Let's see it. Okay let's not see it is dead on to the corruption you know maybe when i make a new world like I, it's really hard to decide if i want to make a new world for future videos or if i want to go to the laboratory that chaos made and it's hard to decide because if we go to a whole new world i'm, I'm gonna be a lot more organized and that's why like the laboratory would honestly be a good area to go but at the same time if i ever get destructive it's like i don't want to blow up the world with the laboratory i could always make backups and stuff but like you know you never know when things can go really wrong yeah, let's go ahead summon in turquoise lepus get him out of here and uh, last but not least well actually not even last the dark mage here what is that thing blood mage sounds terrifying dark mage though get him out of here and now on to hell look at that we got a lot more boxes on this right side uh what about the left side not that many on the left side let me do a left side eater of flesh Ooh, that's not the name let me do a left side wall of flesh what's up see you later all right let's get to it boom the mech trio they might all die instantly no eh, not an instant i thought they'd all die from like the beams well i guess all the beams kind of start close together i thought they started like this oh i can move it around i didn't even know this i didn't even know i could do all this so if i keep it on me we got a little like pentagram going around me i guess that's a little evil but then if i go like this oh look at that i control the beams all right plantera and the golem let's get to it it's like most of them die before i can even start doing the beam control which is a little upsetting because i want to control the beams and blast something with it but again i guess it's good because you know it's making us get past this uh vanilla boss part faster so yeah we're not used to killing some of these bosses but they are dying still very quickly which is more than fine for me let us go ahead take on the pump king i don't know why it started with the pump king is he gonna die fast enough oh he's not gonna die fast enough okay that's fine let's make it nighttime you know i never usually fight these guys at night but might as well have a first for everything pump king what's up stay here for a while please there you go ice queen too welcome stay for a while hey don't freeze me though am i getting frozen damn calm down 
go ahead take out sand tank boom beautiful noise i love that metallic hit noise we got the ever scream of course boom and the uh, morning wood uh, of course also ogre might as well kill ogre and betsy at nighttime too kind of lazy to turn it back to daytime just for a couple more bosses we got the dutchman here boom and then we got the martian saucer which last episode we had a little trouble with the martian saucer in the last episode well we had a little trouble with a couple of things just because we're using npcs so we still can't take on the uh 1.4 new bosses yet but we're getting close we're getting close to team all loader 1.4 i can't wait honestly that's what i'm waiting for i feel like i haven't done much in terms of just making creative new terraria content just because i'm waiting for that team mod 1.4 that's what a lot of people are waiting for right now and once that drops i promise you we'll get back into the groove of some crazy stuff but you guys already know what time it is boys your time has come thank you for helping out i'm gonna just sit right underneath them full powered beams insta kill get them out of here all right no speed run today let's just take it nice and slow today not in the mood we'll actually We'll, we'll take it like a nice peaceful fast pace i don't know is that, is that possible peaceful and fast pace sure hey where does this teleport me to i don't know underground okay that wasn't a, <laughs> that wasn't a good idea using that boom there's the vortex pillar and last but not least solar somewhere over here there it is and I might as well go over here. I, I don't know why. I feel like fighting the Moon Lord over here. And I guess let's take on the Dungeon Guardian. I actually don't know how well we'll kill the Dungeon Guardian. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Definitely faster than some weapons we've had. But also a little bit slower than some weapons we had. But I've definitely seen worse. Ayo, it's the Moon Lord. Damn it. I wasn't paying attention to kill this top eye. It's all good. It's all good. That means we get the full beam ready for him. We get the fully charged beam ready for his top eye. There you go. And he's dead. All right. Sweet. I feel like we're at a fairly good pace. You know, there's some episodes that I just like zoom through the vanilla part. I don't know. This one's feeling like one of them, but I guess I'll see when I edit the video. Depends how much I just talk about random bullshit in the video. But yes, let us take on Abyssion here. Uh, do all three forms at once. Why not? beautiful hold up this one's dying kind of slow one of them was dying very slow maybe it was a bad idea to summon three at once oh what did i i don't want to kill him again I, i'm leaving the world <laughs> all right let us take on the primordials here is that like a random block in the sky right here with the hell I, I don't know how long this be yeah primordials that's really loud extremely loud why is it so loud jesus <laughs> That, that was like abnormally loud for some reason. Like I even have my headphones usually turned down when I record, but that shit was loud. All right, for once, we're not gonna fight near the dungeon. We're gonna go like all the way over here uh, because for obvious reasons, we accidentally spawned in the cultists again. But yeah, let's go ahead, let's do it. We got dog, let's see it in action. Dog, die, please. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna aim towards the dungeon. <laughs> Okay, phase two. Maybe I should have kept the laser ready for phase two. Actually, no, we got it ready in time, kind of. See you later. That was pretty quick. I know once the lasers get to like the darker form, they do a little bit more damage or something like that. They penetrate, pierce, something like that. But yeah, I guess before we fight uh, Yarn, let's go ahead and just fight the mutant. That's it, just the mutant. No deviant. What's up, mutant? How you doing? Hey, I got a pretty cool weapon too. Look at this. Whoa. It's not doing a lot of damage to oh okay <laughs> he's dead i guess on to my favorite dragon not really i think betsy's pretty cool but yeah let's take on yarn here and let's see how long this takes how much damage we do i don't know we're about to see it looks like it's doing good damage it's doing damage while he's invincible oh maybe that's what the black memes do they can kill you while you're invincible wow that's really strong that's some good power right there. So he's regening. Maybe I should stop attacking away from him to regen. All right. Stop regening. I believe. I hope. I don't know. Let's blast him with all the beams. Where are you going? Come back here. The black beams are out. It's time to get hit with them. Yes, sir. That's the end? Question mark? Yes, sir. Now, I wonder how Supreme Cal is going to react to this. I don't know. Let's just hop straight into it. Can I just, like, come down here and blast her? Oh, she's way down there. Like, really far down there. I can't even see down there. All right. Can we kill the Sepulchre? Maybe. I can't even see the beams right now. <laughs> if we kill the Sepulchre, we kill Supreme Cal. Or we get to fight Supreme Cal. I don't remember. So, 
Sepulcher. There you go. Sepulcher is dead. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't know. Uh, am I doing damage? The health bar in the bottom right is going down. <laughs> and just like that, Supreme Cal has been defeated. Go to hell. Fuck you. But yeah, so far, this thing has been a force to be reckoned with. Is that the saying? I don't know. Something like that. On to the Eidolon Worm. Kind of interested to see here what's going to happen, how it's going to happen. I would assume we kill it, right? Yeah, we're killing it. Okay. It's always a beautiful sight to kill the Eidolon Worm. Something that doesn't happen too often in the series. But next up, you already know what's next up. We're going to do the Ugandan Knuckles. Now, the Knuckles, they, they aren't a staple in this series. But, you know, every time I feel like a weapon's really strong, I feel like it's only right that we bring them out, okay? Oh my god, I forget that we have to summon it in a certain specific way. But yeah, the Ugandan Knuckles, I believe, can still kill us. So, uh, we do have to be slightly careful. Uh, just don't get hit. That's the goal. Don't get, don't actually get hit. I don't remember if it's a physical hit. I think it's a physical hit and then I die. So, I think we're good. I hope. I don't know. I'm just keeping my distance. The boss health bar is going down rapidly, and it should be over any second. Please. Please. There we go. I wonder what's in the treasure bag. What's in this treasure bag, you know? We get an unpleasant totem. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to summon. All right, but you guys know what time it is. It is at that time. Let's see if we can do this here. Let me get really high up in the air, but let me get somewhere, you know, if I do kill Ek Death. We got some room to run. I don't feel like this is a lot of room, but whatever. You know, if we die, we die. Boom. No, I did it wrong. Boom. Act death has been summoned. Now, let's see. Let's see. It might be possible. The black beams are coming out. <gasps> Yo, that might be possible. That might be possible. I'm a ghost, but I still got my beams out. This, is, this looks kind of cool. I can't even lie. All right. I am in a new world here. We're going to fight Ek Death because, you know, in this world, we should have a lot more room to run around without destroying something that I care about. And I really do believe I can defeat Ek Death. What's going on down here? There's like a whole laboratory down here. Yeah, I do really believe I can defeat Ek Death. We got close. We got close. I just ran out of speed. Plain and simple. Let's do it again here. I got a lot more speed on my side this time, thanks to the Thorium mod and the, uh, I don't remember the name of the item. <laughs> I'll look at it after this. I dashed towards Ek Death. Maybe not thanks to the Thorium item. The Thorium item made that dash deadly. The Omega Core, that's the name of the item, obviously. All right, let's do it again. That's the wrong item. All right, there you go. Uh, Ek Death might've got a little head start there since I had the wrong item out. It's all good. It's looking like a W. As long as I just don't tap the wrong direction, it's a W. Plain and simple. Yes, sir. Act death smile for the camera. And oh. It's the island's fault. It's not my fault. If I die again to act death, we're doing a game raiders week. No, I'm kidding. But I've learned from my mistakes. I broke this island and I broke that island. We should have more than enough room though. Like I shouldn't even need to break those islands. Let's do it again. Okay. And we're gonna catch a W this time. Now I want Act Death to be on the screen when it dies, so that's why I was kind of, you know, taking my time a little bit. But this time, I don't care. Just kill Act Death on screen, off screen. Just kill it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Well, I kind of want to see him off screen. On screen. I'm not gonna lie. There you go. You can kind of see him. Oh look, there's the island that killed us last time. See you later, Act Death. See you later. Right. Goodbye. Hello. You still got a lot of health left. Uh, you know, a little awkward now. You gotta die eventually, right? Hey, I feel like I'm gonna run into the other end of the world anytime. So, like, you gotta go. There we go. Act Death has enraged. Yeah, okay. But there you go. Act Death has been killed. Where are we? Damn, we made it really far. Like, it was getting a little close. We still had a decent way, but that, that's still kind of scary. But there you go. The Psychedelic Prism. Great weapon. Shout out to this person that recommended I should use this for an episode. Make sure you guys leave suggestions for more strong weapons. They don't gotta insta-kill. They just gotta be really strong. Or just be very unique in the way they kill bosses. Stuff like that. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.